But it's great to have these moments of reflection uh, on these great sculptural objects. I mean, for me, they have a kind of deep, uh, a kind of primordial quality. You don't know where they come from. Uh, they, they look incredibly, they look incredibly ancient, uh, but at the same time, uh, you know, of today. Um, and I like that ambiguity. I like that. Um, abstract ambiguity in these objects, you know. Um, a lot of these principles uh, have existed for a long time. If you look at evolution, evolution itself, it just is a metamorphosis. speed it all up, some of these objects would be influenced by dynamics, by fluid dynamics, by aerodynamics, uh, by technology itself. And when all of that combines, you get incredibly modern, you get incredibly modern objects. Um, it, again, it really doesn't matter what that is, it, but you see people's reaction when they come in. I actually think that the unknown is something very valuable uh, in design. Uh, if it's too obvious, it's like I always say, you know, design is expected and art is unexpected. <laughs> and if you can put something unexpected into design, design is better. <laughs> so if you put something expected into art, I think it really dumbs it down. <laughs> so <clears throat> what we're looking at here uh, is a sort of convulsive explosion of exiting of, of feelings without fear. A lot of designers today, they work with incredible fear, fear of failure, fear of not being able to deliver something to people that they don't know, their fear of not being popular enough, fear of not selling. And in a sense, that's what drives people like myself to work more artistically, because at the end of the day, you've got to do it for yourself and, and hope that you, you have a following in what you do. And if you look at Luigi's work with these incredible things which maybe look like marine mammals from you know 100 million years ago a hundred million years ago things were incredibly evolved and incredibly relevant and incredibly synergistic with their environment so when Luigi talks about cars if you ever read any of his writings in Liem and, and his other publications he talks very wisely about ecology the environment synergistics naturalness uh, with, uh, with a great authority, actually. And uh, in an age now when all these, these ideas of fuel consumption, lightness, movement are, be are coming to the fore, they're coming really forward uh, in the public debate, a lot of that's incredibly relevant. So, yeah. Um, hopefully one day maybe somebody would say the same about my stuff. <laughs> I just got to get there. <laughs>